Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a three pile pick a pile reading, and we are wondering how do people see me? You know, how do people see you, the viewer? You know, I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> so, yeah. This is a three pile pick a pile reading and we want to know how do people see you? How do they see you? Um, this is pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. Lapis lazuli, clear quartz crystal, rose quartz. Okay, so hopefully you've had enough time to choose which one is basically, you know, calling out to you when you look at the screen. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Pile number one is first. Okay, here's pile number one, lapis lazuli. Little triangle thing. Stone. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, how do people see you? We have the world, nine of swords, ace of wands, temperance, justice, wheel of fortune, king of cups, six of pentacles, ace of pentacles, officer, misfortune, and loss. Whoa! Wowzers! Oh my goodness. Okay, look. <clears throat> How do people see you? Well, they see you as, you know, like, you know, you are somebody in your own little world, right? But they also see that you're upset about something. They see that you're, you mourn over something. You're sad. You can't make sense of something. We have the Nine of Swords here, right? Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no, no, my bad. That was wrong. Okay. So, yeah, they see you as a person who um, is sad, can't sleep at night, going through something, right? And they also see that you're very passionate about whatever you started. You started something. They see you working very passionately towards this. Um, they also see you as a very patient and balanced individual, right? They also see you as a fair, very fair and just individual. <clears throat> and somebody who is, um, now we have this Wheel of Fortune. This is a karmic Wheel of Destiny. So this is, they might see you as somebody, uh, you know, who is, uh, you know, somebody moving forward, right? Doing for themselves, you know, um, finding success on their own and stuff like that, right? Now, <clears throat> when it comes to how do people see you, they see you that way, but they all, there's also a King of Cups here that's involved some way, somehow. And the King of Cups is a very emotional individual, very loving and caring. Doesn't really show it that much, but deep, 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 deep down inside, <laughs> he's there loving everything and everyone, right? Um... And, you know, this person is always sabotaging themselves when it comes to love, though. Yeah, that's what I'm catching right here. Because, look, this is the suicide king. King of Cups. And, and you know, I'm seeing here that he is a somebody who sabotages himself by the, his own mental thoughts, right? His own insecurities. So you could be somebody, people could see you as an insecure individual some way or somehow. I don't know. Uh, they do see as you uh, giving uh, to, you know, you're a very giving person, okay? 
and um, along with this Ace of Wands, passionately working towards your goals, your finances, your stability, right? <clears throat> now, these are the gypsy cards, okay? This is the, you know, three card, you know, fortune telling cards, right? And I pulled three for each pile. So you could be um, somebody who um, was dealing with an officer, or you could be an officer, somebody, an officer in your presence, something somehow. Someone here had some sort of misfortune in regards to that okay and I do see that you are definitely at a loss right here for okay so <clears throat> you're patiently waiting for something that needs to come to you in regards to you being an officer or dealing with an officer right or some sort of justice some court legal thing whatever right and it appears that the justice is not going to play in your favor it's going to be a misfortune for you and um when it comes to this wheel of fortune you're definitely going to be losing money in regards to this situation yeah darn you got a little fortune teller deal going on there for you didn't you so basically people see you as somebody working towards their goals but low key there is some misfortune and loss in your life so you're not actually showing what appears to be the truth because you're upset about this loss, you know, of course, misfortune. Uh, maybe somebody you know went to jail, you went to jail, something happened here, I don't know. Yeah. So, okay. <clears throat> That's what I have for you. Um, pile number one, the Lapis Lazuli protection stone, right? <laughs> and, um... If this resonated, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, um, don't forget to keep it true love energy, right? Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm and we stay cheerful. And, um, yeah, that's all I have for you today. I'm Mona. This is Classicope Dreams Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number two. Pile number two is next. Okay, so here's pile number two, the clear quartz crystal. There it is. Yeah. So, <clears throat> how do people see you? Let's see. We have the Knight of Cups, the Tower, the Page of Cups. Okay. Oh, these cards are all jacked up. All right. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And then we have the Ace of Wands. The Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Milady, Ecclesiastic, and Lover. Okay. <clears throat> How do people see you? They see you as somebody with a lot of emotions, right? You're a very emotional individual who has possibly went through some sort of tower moment, some sort of transformation or change in your life. And, and, and that change has brought about a new um, look or outlook on, you know, on love, you know? And maybe this is something you never thought that you would achieve, but you did. So people see you as achieving something in regards to love after something very traumatic has happened to you. Okay. Oh my gosh. This is very creepy to me. Resonating only for me, this picture. I've never seen this card in this deck before, but it is very superly duperly creepy to me. All right, we're going to keep going. We are going to keep going. So that that's what has happened there, okay? Now we see the Ace of Pentacles right here, okay? And the Ace of Pentacles, uh, we see a dragon holding a pentacle, 
somebody may want to be coming in to offer some new um <clears throat> something new in the form of stability all right maybe a gift um because i see a dragon there this could be somebody who was born in the year of the dragon that's what's coming to my mind so look it up i don't know what years those are um also we have the ace of wands here and the ace of wands is about a new star now this ace of wands card is a trip because it look almost looks like she's like the empress or something because she's holding a baby she's looking down but we also see somebody holding the light the torch for her so this is a, a to me it's signifying something about a third party somebody's holding a torch to light up this lady and the baby um i don't know the lady is an angel oh no darn it okay i just got a uh thought maybe this lady has died and ch and the child has died in childbirth or the child has died i don't yeah because you know what the lady looks like in full flesh the child looks like a hologram or something so somebody may have lost a child um and and it was lost it was a passionate new start anyways like it just things started passionately like maybe one night stand somebody got pregnant boom but then the child may have you know i don't know i don't know <clears throat> so this is what may have brought you some sort of change this tower that maybe this was the tower moment it doesn't have to be but you know something like that but uh, we do have ace of pentacles ace of wands which is basically starting something new uh, and stable and uh passionate right um those were just extra little side things i added to that that i i came to mind <clears throat> So we also have this page of pentacles right here. You know, the page of pentacles is about, uh, you know, a child. Okay. And I do see that, um, I do see that somebody uh, is with, maybe with child or has had a child. And maybe this person now might even just be a single parent. That could also be it too. Now, <clears throat> I'm noticing something here and I don't have these phases memorized, okay? So I, I can't help you there, but those these things will happen in these moon phases. Look at this moon phase, look at this one, and then look at this one. In this one, this is when the message comes in about a child. Something happens with the lady and the child. I don't know, the child looks like a hologram, kind of, but it doesn't have to be. But it looks like it to me. So, so And then the woman's wearing wings like an angel. So there could be some sort of passing of somebody, both, one or the other. And then we have this dragon, the ear of the dragon, who is trying to start something stable, possibly for the family. But something has happened here, right? Because somebody ends up to be alone with the child. That's what I'm seeing there. I don't know, you guys. But... <clears throat> how do people see you maybe they see you as a single parent because you lost there was a loss of the, the spouse somehow some way um doesn't have to be though doesn't have to be that so you know some they could also see you as somebody who's starting something new in regards to a new uh, form of passions that you realize because you have new emotions for this passion that you have discovered for yourself to move forward in life now we also have this ace of wands here and this is the second time we have the ace of wands so uh, they see you as knight of cups energy somebody very emotional uh, uh, speaking of love and emotions uh, freely you know and you might have a lot of passionate new starts coming up here and 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 you might be working out the fact that that tower moment came down you know and you might be working with others about it and that's where you might actually meet somebody you might actually meet a knight of pentacles uh somebody who actually has, has money coming in or money is coming in or has gotten money in something like that but uh, you will be working on somebody like with this uh like this but they haven't received any money yet but uh, soon enough they will this person whoever you're dealing with now we also have the malady. Somebody is feeling sick. You know, some sort of sickness has come over. Um, possibly the per this dragon individual. Some sickness has come in over them. And this is why there will be something offered to somebody. Maybe because of their passing. They know they're going to pass. Somebody knows they are sick. Somebody knows they are dying. Um, 
somebody may actually you know you know when you're sick and you want to get better and you hope to survive this is when you become very religious so somebody here might be studying the bible or reading praying and doing all this stuff because they want to survive or they want their child to survive or somebody is sick here it could be the mother the child or the, the individual uh this dragon uh year of the dragon person um we also have a lover um this person also has another person on the side who is a lover which is crazy so this is definitely a third party situation somebody is sick somebody is paying somebody is might be dying and somebody has a lover on the side and somebody is praying for survival something like that damn so right here people are thinking that you have a lot of drama in your life you know like you're going through all this and, and maybe you are I, I, this is crazy so a lot of people might actually know that you're going through this about this illness and the sickness and whatever so somebody knows that maybe that you are ill that you are sick uh, but you're a very loving individual and you're just trying to work uh to you know get better possibly <clears throat> and they also uh, know that you have a side lover out there somewhere and that lover may be the one who is very religious too so i don't i don't know that's kind of weird <laughs> you know so you know, take it how it resonates, you know, flip flop it, however the roles you need to, but they, they see you as somebody who's going through a lot of things and they're going through all this stuff because of a tower moment initially, right? Initially a tower moment came in and it just broke your heart. It really tore you a new one. So, and you may be somebody who openly displays this pain. So I just saw 1616, 16, which reduces down to 7, 7. So that is God's number, spirit's number, the universe's number. I don't know, whatever, but that might resonate with somebody. So yeah, that's what I have for you, pile number two. Um, please subscribe, like, comment, and share if um, it resonated, right? Get some karma points. Also, um, keep a true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear. We stay calm. We stay cheerful. And, um, yeah, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye. Oh, I'm going to go on ahead to move on to uh, pile number three, by the way. That's uh, the Rose Quartz. Uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Pile number three is next. Okay, so here is pile number three. Um, with the rose quartz, <clears throat> rose quartz, Ooh. love stone, I guess. All right, let's see what you have. How do people see you? We have the page of wands, seven of swords, the magician. Uh, the two of wands, the four of wands, the world, Oops. six of wands, the fool, three of swords, baby, gift, and thief. Uh oh. All right. Apparently, somebody is wanting to go into a new direction, right? How do people see you as somebody who's an adventurer? You like to go on adventures, right? They, well, they also see you as somebody who might be, even be deceptive, right? Yeah. But they see you as being deceptive in the form of being the magician. So somebody or people may think that you are like really good at manifesting things for yourself. They might even think you're doing it underhandedly. But I mean, you know, I don't know. Uh, we have the two of wands here and somebody wants to and and this is about communication, right? Somebody wants to talk to somebody. They see that you are wanting to communicate with somebody and uh, and this is involving soulmate stuff, right? So you may be a person who openly says stuff like calling in my soulmate or something like that, right? I don't know. But they see you as somebody who's looking for a soulmate. You're communicating to the world that you are looking for a soulmate, right? We have the world right here. Now, um, they do see that you are looking to complete the happiness in your world, which is finding your soulmate. Okay? So they see you as that. 
Um, they see you as having victory on whatever ever adventures you do go on. Whenever you go on an adventure, you always have some sort of victory or something good happens for you. Um, you're going to take a leap of faith now. Uh, uh, you took a leap of faith uh, into something that was deceptive and it involves heartbreak. Yet something was manifested here and, and then maybe somebody got pregnant. Maybe somebody manifested a pregnancy. Somebody did something, you know underhanded they might see you as somebody who may have gotten pregnant uh to capture somebody to have some sort of um victory and you broke someone's heart in the process Ooh, that's kind of a sounds like you're gonna have some really bad karma whoever this is <laughs> I, I mean i'm just i'm being i'm just being honest you know it looks like somebody here um you know might have manipulated another person and, and they got pregnant and people see that you may have done that and and you know we all know who suffers right the, the child always suffers this is why the karma is like a hundredfold for anybody who gets pregnant just to catch another individual Whew. you can just imagine the karma that you're going to get if this is you anyways so somebody sees you as using somebody to get pregnant to capture them and, and, and you're not in there and definitely not seeing that uh, somebody had a gift of a soulmate you tried to deter them from going to their soulmate this is why somebody here uh, did something to get pregnant so you would not receive the gift of finding your soulmate oh shit that's even worse so somebody basically may have gotten pregnant because they want you to miss your opportunity to be with the soulmate, the one that you deserve in this lifetime, the one that is a, a gift from the universe. Somebody is definitely uh, has done that or is doing that or they see you as a person who has done that. Um, this, this soulmate would have been your world, but somebody stole that person from you. And that's what I'm seeing here. They see you as uh, a thief. They see you as somebody who takes advantage of others, who possibly has gotten pregnant just to capture a, a mate. And, and you did it under the pretenses of um, trying to ruin this person's life, basically, because they have found their soulmate and their soulmate found them, which is a gift from the universe, but you decided to step in and play, you know, God or whatever to switch destiny. And, um, yeah, your world, somebody is going to steal somebody's world from them. There, somebody is going to be in some deep doo-doo. Yeah, here. Uh, just you got to pick which side you're on. And, and this is how people see you. They see you as somebody who's a user. You know, yeah, sure, you go on all these adventures and have all these fun times and have all these victories, but you break hearts along the way. You hurt people. And, and that's how people see you as somebody who's a very hurt individual who is spiteful and stuff like that gosh that's <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry whoever picked this one um but yeah if it resonated you can comment below if you want you don't have to you know if you don't really want to um <clears throat> don't forget to keep it true love energy if you can happy friendly and loving types we have nothing to fear because we stay calm we stay cheerful and we don't deceive people that's number one that we should all be remembering deep down in our soul and of our subconscious that it's not a nice thing to hurt people it's not so think about what you're doing here think about what you have done and think about that child if this resonates okay if only if this resonates if it doesn't then you know it's not you don't worry about it but if there's a child involved ugh. may god save your soul i'm telling you all right i'm mona this is kaleidoscope dreams tarot and I'll speak to you next time. Bye.